Hey Print Hustlers, Bruce from Printavo, Simple Shop Management Software. If you're new to online stores, I wanna be able to help you generate sales quickly using stores. We built a tool called Printavo Merch, which allows you to create online stores really quickly. This allows you to create stores like fundraisers, group orders, team orders, anything that you can think of to be able to collect sizes, collect payments on a temporary store to be able to funnel them in. This helps you generate sales without the extra overhead and be able to help grow your business. During Corona-19, stores have been huge to be able to generate more sales for people. And I wanna show you guys some tips that we've learned from other shops to be able to help you grow too. Now, we've done tons of webinars and a lot of content on how you guys can do this. I'm gonna summarize a lot of these together in this video so you guys can be able to execute today and generate sales over the next 30 days to really push things forward. A lot of people that haven't gotten into stores are thinking, okay, I hear a lot about merch stores and, and what's going on with them and they're making people money, but what next? I, I don't know what to do. How do I find customers that would want a store? Well, that's probably a little bit more of the easier part. So here's how it's done. This is a four step process to be able to get some new customers for your merch stores and be able to get going on them quickly. Now, after you sign up for Printava Merch, you'll go through the setup step, you'll get going. If you need help with us, you can be able to reach out and we'll schedule a call to be able to get you moving. But what I want you to do is take out a piece of paper or go to a whiteboard. And I want you to write out five to 10 of your most friendly customers, ones that have a good popular following in your local community. Generally, this is a school or a brewery or a sports team of some sort, things like that that have a, a strong following, especially online. The more, the better, and that's gonna make it easier for you. The next step I'm gonna want you to do is you're gonna create an example store for them. So go to your Printable merch stores and be able to create a brand new store for them. You're gonna get their logo from their website, then you're gonna create three different products. Adam at Lucky Prince loves to do this because this creates different price points, right? You can have a tote bag that's at a lower price point of $15, you can have a t-shirt at 20 to $22, and you can have a hoodie at about $35. So depending on what people wanna spend, you can be able to have different products for them. Now, right now, fundraisers are huge. So we're gonna focus really heavily on fundraisers. Who wouldn't want to get extra money, right? Whether it's a church or a club, everybody wants to be able to generate some extra funds at any time. It has no direct relation, uh, specifically just to coronavirus. So let's get going on that. You got their logo, right? You put it and you upload it in the store, you create a nice banner image to make it look neat, um, you add a little bit of description text, and you've got the three products. A tote bag with a logo with some sort of quick design that you generated. Um, there's great companies like Graphic Source that can help you generate artwork if you need help. A t-shirt, and then a hoodie. You create those mock-ups, you upload them, you add the garment description, what it's made of, and all that into there. Now, the next step, is you're gonna take each of these five stores that you created from your list of potential prospects and you're gonna email them. So step three is gonna say something like this. Hi John, we're working with local businesses to help them fundraise to support their staff during this tough time. Here's an example store that we built from you guys. And then you link to the store right there. We print, ship, and manage all the orders from you and you'll receive $10 for every item that's raised and it doesn't cost you anything. Interested in moving forward, question mark, and then sign your name. Now, you gotta make this very relevant to whatever's going on. If a tornado ripped through the town, it's gotta be focused on that. If it's focused on coronavirus, it has to be focused on that. If it's more of a community or a band, it's focused on that, right? So there's all these opportunities and ideas to be able to create these different stores, but again, it has to be very personalized email, very relevant, and the extra time and effort is gonna pay dividends because all they have to do is take a look and say, wow, that looks cool. Yeah, what's next step, right? And you may not get all five out of five, but you'll get a couple. 
And if you don't, well, then you just gotta message five more people. But again, you really wanna focus on the customers that have a strong following on either social or in person, right? Cause that's gonna help build the presence. All right, so let's say a couple people responded back and they're ready to go. So the biggest thing here is you need to now send your terms and conditions. Do not continue without getting these approved. And the reason is, is because there's a lot of things that can go wrong if the customer is not aware. They need to be aware of time frame, how long the store is running for, best uh, suggestions to sell products, um, how often things are fulfilled, what happens if there's uh, refunds or returns or upset customers. Things like this need to truly be covered, the, the revenue split, all that needs to be documented and signed off on and so you can send them that. We actually have an example terms and conditions down below so you can click that link too. So let's say that we're starting the store on Monday. So we're really excited, the customer's excited. I'm gonna give you the biggest tip here to selling the most garments. And that is either press, uh, as far as local press or newspapers or video, or the business shares it as much as possible too. If the businesses aren't pushing these stores, very little will be sold. And this is something I would directly tell the business that you're working with or the company or the club that you're working with if they're not sharing these things then nobody's gonna buy it because your audience is not the same as their audience so what i would do is make it as easy as possible maybe create a short video something cool for them maybe the graphics for them to be able to share on facebook really easily just make it one click very simple to reshare and repost all of the information about the store so that they can push it as hard as possible. I would also suggest them to email all of their current customers too with a link and re-email and do that every you know four to five days to really push on it as again it's helping them with whatever the cause or whatever the benefit is that you're pushing for this specific fundraiser store. Now you've got an awesome amount of orders that came in. Let's say there's 50 shirts that people order from this store. This is really, really great and really exciting, especially for your first month. We've seen a lot of shops be able to generate thousands, literally thousands up to, we had one shop generate 50,000 in sales in the first month. So it's absolutely doable. Now when we get to fulfillment, there's a couple things that you're gonna wanna do. First and foremost, quality assurance. You want to make sure that you have high amount of quality as far as the counted number of goods that are going out. If somebody's picking up the box, do not, do not put all the shirts together folded in the box. Every item should always be individually bagged. And the reason is, is it's too easy for somebody to grab the wrong size and give it to the wrong person and then come back to you and say that they're missing that size. That is disastrous. So what do you have to do? Set up the whole press again, burn screens and so on and so on and so on. You don't wanna to have to do that. So you're gonna individually bag all the items for every single order. This is great also because it adds value to the order. So, you know, you could say something like, we're gonna add a dollar for finishing because we individually bag and put packing slips. This also makes it easier if the organizer's distributing it. See the person's name on the bag because you'll have the packing slip in there. From top of March will help you generate all those and be able to hand those out. John, Tim, Jane, Kelly, and so on, you'll be able to hand those out very easily. Now, if it's shipping, well, that's simple, right? Printable Merge allows you to create all your shipping labels and all your packing slips. You match them out, but the big important thing here is lay them all out. So, lay it all out on a big, long table, all the orders, right, and put them together and just make sure that everything lines up and you have all the right sizes. Now, generally, people fulfill stores every one and usually more on the two week side. So if you do have to do it multiple times and the store is open longer, you'll want to make sure to obviously save those screens so that setup is a lot quicker. Now, the thing to note though, is you may get people that say, you know, I wanna change my size later, or I messed up the shipping address, or can I order something else too? This is your call, but truthfully, you really wanna create a hard close date. And the reason is, is it's a lot of work to be able to manage the store and really get things out. So you're creating a bit more of a headache for yourself if you allow these after the fact like that. The way you could also get around it is print a couple extra for each size and then have them and or give them to the organizer and let them hand them out that way too. 
Okay, and then the final piece that's really important is the post-marketing aspect of each store. Every store gives you brand new customers that you can be able to help retarget to and with social ads and or email out a thank you. So what's really great is you can download all your orders from Printava Merch, then you're gonna take those customer emails and you're gonna shoot them an email. Maybe chat with the organizer first just to let them know that you'd like to thank them. What this is helpful for is you could send them a thank you for ordering from, you know, X organizer from uh, this gym or this church or so on. Send that out and then say, if you guys would love to create your own fundraiser or your own store, we'd love to be able to help you. And then a link to either a form or your email address for them to reach out. You've got a whole new list of customers that you can be able to promote this to and it just keeps growing like a weed from there. We're gonna drop in a full guide down below so you guys can be able to read more in depth about that. But if you do have questions, we run one-on-one -on -one calls with our success team about growing your merch stores and your sales really quickly. We've got tons of webinars with other shops that have done this very successfully as well. So we're really excited to be able to help you get going. And drop it down in the comments below. Let's get it. Thank you.